Hey guys, MC Mura here. A couple of days ago, Capcom dropped out a random teaser trailer for Ed, right? The third DLC character in Street Fighter 6, the year one pass, and people are feeling something about it. Either you are really excited for how he looks, or you're just glad he's out of the way so we can get closer to Akuma. Anyways, yes, he is the next character we will be getting. And Capcom dropped the trailer out of nowhere, and this is what they've been doing with Street Fighter 6 in general. They're not attaching their reveals or announcements to any sort of events. I guess Evo was the only one where they really tied, like they had to announce something and they put out the Aki teaser. But yeah, we got the teaser. It's a world tour cutscene, very similar to what they did with Aki. It was our first look at Ed in Street Fighter 6. He was a returning character from Street Fighter 5, and his looks is much improved actually. I really like his new design. He still does look way too much like Dante from DMC Devil May Cry, which doesn't really said that well with me, but at least his costume is a massive upgrade and he does have a slimmer build. When Capcom put out Ed in Street Fighter V, uh, we had our first look at him in the uh, Street Fighter V story mode and he had a slimmer build. He's just a kid with psycho powers that just learned how to box, so an amateurish boxing kid with psycho power could have been really cool but when they actually made Ed playable they made him another muscle god <laughs> and it wasn't interesting and his costume was awful so anyways massive upgrade for Street Fighter 6 and he doesn't sound as annoying but I, I, st I still we still have to wait to see his gameplay we just have one two three one two three and psycho up like we, we still have to wait and see just how annoying he's gonna be because He's gonna be annoying, like Ed have to be annoying, that is, that's kind of his thing, he's like a, a brat annoying kid, but hey, he's a little bit older, he looks kind of sick, and uh, maybe Psycho Bauer is eating at him, we will see, right, I'm kind of excited to see what you're gonna do with him. If you didn't play Street Fighter V and you're kind of surprised, who's Ed, and like why are they bringing him back? Ed was actually the most played newcomer in Street Fighter V, if you would actually believe it. There is Luke, obviously, but Luke was very special because people knew that Luke was the main character of Street Fighter VI, that Insta made him kinda popular, he was also completely broken, so he was the best character in the game, that made him played even more, so yes, Luke was technically the most played newcomer, but if we discount Luke, right? Ed is actually the most popular newcomer, more popular than Laura, more popular than Nikali, Zeku, Minat, everyone else. So his inclusion in Street Fighter 6 kind of makes sense and he is a character with some sort of story relevance. He is an M. Bison clone, one of the very few males, apparently M. Bison is like ultra kinky and always wanna be incarnated or cloned as a hot female, I don't know. But anyways, he is like one of these rare... Uh, Let's call him like he sh he's like a shiny Pokemon, right? Ed's like a shiny Pokemon. Uh, M. Bison made a mistake and made a clone male. But wh why would M. Bison actually want to be incarnated as an emo teen? Anyways, anyways. Uh, so Ed is a kid a that was raised by Balrog, right? And he does have psycho powers. So we are having like a kind of like a Rock Howard situation here, although Balrog isn't a good guy. But this is a new generation psycho power user that is a boxer, but also is using like his uh, his boxing style is enhanced with psycho powers. Sounds amazing in concept, right? In execution. Not so much, uh, because Capcom did actually try to have new things with Ed. With Street Fighter V, Ed had a very unique control scheme. Uh, they made it so that he doesn't have any traditional inputs. Most of his moves was either like you press two buttons, like you press two bunches and he has Psycho Abba! You press three bunches and he says Psycho Abba! And does like the EX Abba, kicks kind of the same thing. He does have his mesh, which is like one, two, three, one, two, three, flicker, which was one of the most obnoxious moves that you could have imagined in Street Fighter game. His flicker was ridiculous. This move was forward moving, was stay on block. You can confirm it into the EX follow up as uh, they kind of gave him that with the last patch of Street Fighter V. That alone made the character significantly better and much more powerful. And Andy Walker was the kid. Like, hey, it's kind of funny that a uh, back then I believe like he was like 16 years old kid did bring out the best of the young kid character, which yeah, kind of kind of funny, kind of interesting. But yes, uh, Andy Walker did amazing with this guy. He did absolutely insane stuff with him in tournaments. Ed was a monster, right? But like I said, he was defined by his playstyle. 
uh, aid was a character Capcom wanted in new thing. I guess they were testing the waters with like modern controls when they designed Ed and as he gave him a lot of simple inputs is what they uh, used to call them back then although i do think actually it was kind of complicated in my opinion uh, because just trying to go for like a crouching medium kick into flicker was kind of difficult because if you miss dub you get upper which you just would get you killed but yes he had simple no motion no motion right now this does kind of brings an interesting point to Street Fighter 6 uh, because the game does have modern controls so will it just have traditional motion inputs now? And if they did that, I feel like it will be kind of lame because like a big part of his identity is his control scheme. So I'm pretty sure that Capcom will actually stick with its uh, original uh, motion inputs or I guess control input scheme where there's just a couple of bottom presses and like forward and punch, etc. for like his special moves. But maybe he will not be as balanced by his control scheme as he used to be in Street Fighter V because back then his moves were absolutely designed with the control scheme in mind a move like for example his EX Psycho Upper which was like one button DP right it was very slow for a an invincible move right which mean which means that you could meet him and still block in time but in this game everyone got modern control and one button DPs and one button supers are kind of rampant and everywhere if you're using modern uh, so I don't think they are gonna go as ham on making his moves quote-unquote kind of worse Because of it, but, but it wasn't really that much worse because although his EX Psycho Hour was a kind of a bad reversal It was still pretty amazing because it was one button and it was a very good move offensively, right? Because the involved frames were super long uh, So you could actually use it to throw bait or just like dash at the opponent and just do an EX Psycho Hour This is the character that allowed you to play like a complete asshole Right, which I imagine Capcom is gonna bring back in this game. A lot of people are thinking Ed is gonna get completely redesigned, and I don't think so. I think Capcom will change some stuff about him. I'm pretty certain Capcom will still make Flicker absolutely annoying. We did get to see his Psycho Snatcher, which is he kind of have like an energy whip kind of thing where he like pulls you back. It's it's just it's like yeah, kind of like a scorpion get over here kind of style move, although not as cool. Uh, but they did show him having that we saw him doing something similar kind of to his like charged heavy bunch or like psycho knuckle from Street Fighter 5 so he does have some of his moves and just by the way he was boxing they are still sticking to him being the nimble grappler I kind of like Steve Fox one two three flicker stances kind of deal right which is uh, pretty cool now they did reveal that it is coming out in February which I am assume it means that he will come out just after Capcom Cup uh, because Capcom Cup happens mid-February so we will get him I will assume after the cup is over and I do actually think that there is a good chance that Ed drops with a balance patch at least that's what I'm hoping right because if Capcom is sticking with a balance patch no term is going around and we're waiting till Akuma is out for the new buff or changes balancing uh, that would be kind of crazy that would be kind of crazy. So I'm really much for looking forward to what Capcom will do with Ed. Uh, he's not a character that I personally liked, although I do understand his inclusion. And I want to see Capcom succeed at this concept. Because like I said, the concept of Ed. A young kid, nimble boxer, psycho powers. That is just way too cool. Right? Like one of the coolest characters in Street Fighter 6 is an accountant that happens to learn psycho powers out of nowhere. So imagine like a young boxing flicker dude with psycho power. That is way cooler. So <laughs> anyways, uh, what are your thoughts on Ed? Do you, uh, are you kind of excited? Do you want to see like how Capcom will, uh, how Capcom will handle him? Will these sticks are landing this time? I would love to hear your thoughts about all of this in the comment section below. I'll be leaving a link to the Patreon, Discord, Twitter, and Twitch pages. I know I was mad late for this one, but I am on a business trip and I don't really have access to my uh, game and setup and all of that. So, interesting couple of days. Hey, you everyone, stay safe. I know, very weird ending to a video, but I don't know. <laughs> Good night, everyone, I guess.